Ever wondered how to properly document care notes using the care note framework? Let's break it down. Care note stands for personal care, administration of medication, risks, environment, nutrition, other, task for next person or duty team, and examine the room before you leave. First, C for personal care. This involves documenting any assistance provided with tasks such as bathing, grooming, dressing, and toileting. Remember to note any observations about the resident's personal hygiene, mobility, or general comfort. Always use clear and concise language to describe the care provided. Next, A for administration of medication. Here it's vital to record the name of each medication administered along with the dosage and time given. Also note any medications refused or any concerns related to medication administration. Every detail must be recorded in the CARE app per protocol. R stands for risks. It's crucial to note any hazards or potential risks observed during care provision or within the resident's environment. Document any actions taken to mitigate identified risks or any concerns raised. And remember, communicate any significant risks to relevant staff members promptly. E is for environment. When documenting the environment, note the cleanliness, temperature, and overall condition of the resident's living space. Document any maintenance issues or environmental concerns observed. The environment should be conducive to the resident's needs and preferences. Then comes in for nutrition. Record all meals and snacks offered to the resident, including the type and quantity of food and fluids consumed. Note any dietary restrictions, preferences, or special considerations, and communicate any concerns regarding the resident's nutritional intake or appetite. O is for other. This section allows for documenting any additional observations or notes relevant to the resident's care such as their mood or health issues. Include any significant events, changes in condition, or resident preferences. Make sure all entries are relevant, objective, and contribute to the overall understanding of the resident's care needs. T stands for Task for Next Person or Duty Team. Here, outline any pending tasks, follow-up actions, or important information that needs attention. Ensure that tasks are clearly assigned and any handover instructions are documented. This facilitates seamless transitions between shifts by providing comprehensive information. Do you need to inform the duty team? Finally, E for examine the room before you leave. Before leaving the service user's room, staff must thoroughly examine the room to ensure it is safe and in proper order. This includes checking if food and drink are available and within reach for the service user, they are able to call for help if needed and are safe. C, personal care, assisted with bathing and dressing. Applied lotion to dry skin RS. A. Administration of medication. Administered morning medications, 9 a.m., one tablet of medication name. R. Risks. Noted slight unsteadiness during transfer to wheelchair. Used a gate belt for safety. E. Environment. Room temperature comfortable. Open blinds for natural light. N. Nutrition. Breakfast. Oatmeal with banana slices and a glass of water. Consumed all. O. Other. Service user expressed satisfaction with care received. T. Task for next person or duty team. Reminder to follow up on a podiatrist appointment scheduled for next week. E. Examine the room left safe with drink and phone and TV on. Explaining risks of refusal. When a service user refuses assistance with any aspect of care, staff members must explain the potential risks associated with the refusal. Risks may include neglecting personal hygiene, missing medication doses, inadequate nutrition, dehydration, increased risk of accidents or health complications. Staff members must communicate these risks clearly and sensitively to the service user, ensuring they understand the potential consequences of their refusal. Documenting actions taken. After explaining the risks, staff members must document the actions taken to address the refusal in the service user's care notes. This documentation should include the specific actions taken to encourage participation, address concerns, and mitigate risks associated with the refusal. Staff members must provide detailed descriptions of any interventions attempted and the service user's response to these interventions. Notification for duty team. If the service user continues to refuse care despite interventions, staff members must notify the duty team or next caregiver. The notification should include details of the service user's refusal, the risks explained, and the actions taken to address the refusal. Duty team members must be informed of any changes in the service user's behavior or condition as a result of the refusal. C. 
personal care. Service user refused assistance with personal care tasks. Risk of neglecting personal hygiene observed. Action taken. Attempted to encourage participation and address concerns. Will continue to monitor and offer assistance as needed. A. Administration of medication. Service user declined to take morning medications. Risk of missing medication doses and potential health complications identified. Action taken. Notified healthcare provider and documented refusal. Will continue to encourage medication adherence and monitor for any adverse effects. R. Risks. Risk of neglecting personal hygiene, missing medication doses and potential health complications due to refusal observed. Increased risk of accidents or health deterioration. Action taken. Implemented strategies for encouraging participation, addressing resistance, and monitoring closely for any changes in condition. E. Environment. Room environment appears satisfactory. N. Nutrition. Service users declined breakfast and offered snacks or drinks. Risk of inadequate nutrition and dehydration identified. Action taken. Offered alternative food and drink options. Encouraged intake and will monitor for signs of malnutrition or dehydration. O. Other. Noted service users' refusal for all tasks, attempted gentle encouragement and will continue to monitor. Engage in conversation to understand reasons for refusal and address any concerns. Documented all interactions and observations for continuity of care. T. Task for next person or duty team. Notify the next caregiver of the service user's refusal for all tasks and document any changes in behavior. Implement strategies for encouraging participation and addressing resistance. Ensure clear communication and collaboration among care team members. E. Examine the room left safe with drink and phone and TV on. In summary, the Care Note framework ensures a comprehensive approach to documenting care notes. It's a tool that helps maintain accuracy and detail in care records, ensuring the safety and well being of the residents we serve. So remember, when documenting care notes, always use the Care Note framework.